Hello everybody, welcome to week 9 replay analysis of Rebel. Um, I did actually make a video of this, but my microphone was really rubbish and I didn't realise how rubbish it was. So, it's really unlistenable too. No, nobody said at the time as well, which is funny. It was really horrible. Um, so, we've got, obviously, Team Fantastic or 8 no at this point. And they've got loads of... <laughs> no, it was just, but it was a surprising long time. It was like about a month that it was terrible for. Um, and then I didn't listen to it until I was until I got the YouTube back, and then I was like, oh wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got you know a ball carrier, some claw men, and some tackle. Um, he's got a claw pommer. He's got a claw star player, strength four, and he's got his one turner. He won the toss and chose to kick, so he definitely have the one turner. So that you know that makes it tricky because you know, it's always hard to win when people have a natural one turner. Make that a cheeky three dice and a Kaz, glorious, glorious Kaz is glorious. Yeah, this one three dice. And don't pile on there, because I think I want... Because my guys are only movement 5, my claw pommers, I don't really want to uh, pile on a lineman. When I, you know, I want him to have him up to be able to blitz... Uh, blitz a good player. Because removing the lineman, yeah, it matters to, like, you know, get them down numbers. But realistically, um, he's got the wizard. And he's got gutter runners and stuff, so really I want to uh, want to hit the good players, don't I? Looks like a player was it looks. Oh, this was flat foul. Flat foul got his minus movement, didn't he, in the previous game? So this is uh, no, I'm not my minus agility for flat foul. So only got one claw on this game, so that's why he didn't pile. Hello, flicky flack. It was terrible. I cannot. Um, I cannot both stream and play COD at the same time. I cannot stream myself playing COD on the PC. I can play it no problem at all, but um, it just it, it can't run. The PC can't run OBS at the same time. Um, there you go. He makes a block and makes a cars back, which is you know really one of my better players. Maybe I should have uh, tried to. It's hard. It's hard to expose anyone worse, really, isn't it? I've only got one worse player. <laughs> Hello, BZ Allen. How are I? I'm too noob for you. Oh, I've got I've got two players worse than him, so maybe I could have protected him a little bit more. Is what it is. Obviously, basing up a bit with the more strength in the guard, hoping to hoping to generate some claw hits. I haven't tried the second PC option, but I do have a laptop, so I'll, I'll try that at some point. <laughs> but I haven't tried it yet. I just tried. Um, I just tried doing it on the same one, but yeah, maybe I'll be able to do it on the laptop. I just haven't. I don't know how to do it, to be honest. I don't know if I need like a capture card or what. I've got no idea how to uh, how to use a second PC to stream. I just know that that's what Loopback did. So here I've exposed my best player, haven't I, to a hit, which is, well, not my best, one of my best players to a claw palm hit, which isn't great. Obviously he's going to pile on. And he gets another removal. So we've got two removals each. Obviously he has removed a better player than what I am. And he's got rid of my dirty player as well, so I can't really uh, fight back against his claw pommer that well. Base the ball. Classic ball base. Completely ignore the ball. <laughs> Just try to get the hit on him. He was going to try to. I'm just trying to free up him to dodge away. Let me dodge with the ball carrier. 
Or maybe I'm just going to punch with the ball carrier. Because dodging sucks, doesn't it, if you're all one? Oof, I did dodge. Look at dog. Because you have to be wary of the wizards, so don't want to. Uh... It's hard because I think the best thing against a wizard is to just like kind of pack, pack around the balls, because then at least it encourages them to go for a fireball. So I just did a, I just did a no assist fire, no assist foul there, and got a stun. That was all right, I guess. But gave up a claw hit to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I like you know tempt them into a fireball, and obviously the fireball may be devastating in terms of injuries and knockdowns and what have you. Um, but they're like they're less likely to do the steal if you've got multiple players in the way, haven't they? Makes the it makes the bolt less appealing, and it means that the fireball's got to get luckier if they go for it. So I, I do like to uh, put a lot of stuff in the way rather than just like you know make it kind of open because if you make it open then you really open yourself to a, a bolt and then just stealing the ball anyway don't you so I, I prefer to against like teams like Skaven to kind of leave a leave a decent fireball on getting a 3D tackle claw palm hit on a gutter very nice and do nothing to him <laughs> Not so nice. But it is tricky, just knowing that he's got the wizard makes it. You know, I can't just go out and fight and leave the ball pretty unprotected. Got to got to keep the ball protected all the times. And there uh, that pylon has <laughs> has exposed him to a big foul as well, hasn't it, potentially? Reads it, dirty Dino. Yeah, you know, and he's he's got he's got his scoring threat there for if he if he bolts, he can get the get it and score. So you know, it was pretty. I was pretty disturbed about the wizard, but he's making this a big gang foul, isn't he? Plus four assists, but not dirty player. Five assists. Ah, a glorious send off. That's very nice. Jim Fowl. <laughs> that's actually given us a lot of space to switch up the sides over this side, but. I probably want to hit the uh, gutter and, and jam myself down the side more, which is worse. It's kind of the worst play, isn't it? But... <laughs> Ruining your YouTube replay by screaming, where's Joe and where's his hat? <laughs> the viewers demand it. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. Yeah, I think I probably should have blitzed... Uh, probably should have blitzed Glad there. And moved over at the middle, I think, rather than jamming myself on the sideline at three turns. I don't really like this play. Also, it meant I wouldn't have been giving up a core hit there. But I guess my idea was, if the if the gut is down, then it's going to make the... Uh, and also, it's very defended against a fireball, isn't it? So, or a wizard in general. So. <laughs> and there's another removal. So now we're officially getting out bashed by bloody Skaven. Ah, though he does remove himself with a foul. But he's basically abandoning any semblance of defence here to get another foul in. Only a plus three foul this time. He gets the instant kill! Disgusting. Not even dirty player. Thank God the apple worked. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
I'll run back just to hit his guy, obviously. Hitting here would be better for position, wouldn't it? But I've got to hit his claw pawn. I've got to try to take him out. Because really, the result doesn't matter for me already, pretty much, you know. Um, what's this week nine? Yeah, eight and all. Um, the result already hardly matters. So what matters is my player's dying. <laughs> and the player has died and the apple's gone. So it's pretty squeaky bum time. So yeah, I think I think the idea of this was so that um, facing him was so that if he bolted or whatever, at least uh, the handoff would be in a tackle zone. The breakaway. Watch out! He's facing the ball. So now I'm safe from the wizard with both gutters being away from the action. Well, not safe, they are movement nine, but you know, pretty safe. <laughs> and then making a blockless block there. <laughs> that wasn't great, was it? Well, well, Wackawoo, thank you very much. Um, so he, and he went for the ball there, right? Fireball, rather. He went for the fireball there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I guess he could have gone back and handed it off, right? I probably should have moved that guy into base, both of them as well. Um, but. So yeah, I'm sort of surprised he fireballed there. Very surprised he fireballed. Um, I guess he would have had some kind of a chance, but not a lot really, especially with it not even being a ball, with it being a fireball. Very, very, uh, very uh, speculative effort there. But yeah, I'm definitely going to work more on the YouTube guides. And if you stay around um, until the end of this, because this is going for YouTube after this, I'll ask for what you want for YouTube. That was the idea. So... That's very good timing. Thank you very much. <laughs> so yeah, he, he shot his he shot his ball a bit there. I thought that wasn't a great. I didn't think that was a great decision from Gaudi the Wizard there, uh, especially not the fireball. Because even if he knocks these two down, it's still not easy for him to get hit on the ball, is it? I guess he would have. Yeah, just Joe can do that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously get a 3D in I didn't want to make a 2D without blocking this was a bit greedy wasn't it re-rolling that but again I don't really care about the result that much and also he's got a natural one turner so um, even if I fail that it wouldn't be that bad because you know me scoring him scoring back him scoring back after I score is pretty likely and he's also going to get the LOS hits with me uh, having a, a pull gone so I didn't really I didn't really care if that if that greed hit was a failure. <laughs> Classic KO rolls. So you know I'm feeling pretty hard done by at this point. <laughs> Apple's gone. Um down to what nine players? And uh He's got natural one turner, so there's no real counterplay to the natural one turner, is there? Um, just backline it and hope he fails a dodge. <laughs> Pretty rubbish. Definitely don't want to expose a good player to get claw pond, especially not with apple gun, so yeah, that's about as good as I can do, <laughs> I think. Just a cheeky back line.
Yes, this is rather interesting, isn't it? So we get a perfect defense, which is obviously fantastic. I do make a mistake here um, in the perfect defense. This guy should have been here. Um, yeah, that's all. I mean, it's not that big, but it's, it is one square run. And he can still get the one turner here. So he blitzes with him. Blocks with him. And as you can see, he's got this. Uh, he's got this route through now. Whereas if that guy was stood there, it'd be that much harder if he was stood there. So he picks it up, and then he makes the block, and he's forgot to hand it off. So isn't that good? <laughs> and then he ends the turn in disgust that he uh, he completely messed up there halfway through that guy's action. He uh, he made a block. <laughs> so I was pretty much saved by that huge mistake. And thank God the chaos came back because that would have been this would have been a horrible second half without them. And now this is where a bit of scouting paid off for me. I actually watched his game against uh, against Sage, I think, or Viking Cop, one of the two. And what he did was I saw that he set up to do the one turn on, on the first turn of his drive. So what I what I specifically did was, I mean, I didn't have any choice about fielding my ball carrier, but even if I'd had the choice of fielding him, I would have fielded him and leave him back in a cage here so he can retrieve the ball if he snakes one of the GFIs. So there you go, this was uh, this setup was specifically because I'd seen Gaudi go for the one turn. So isn't that isn't that great? <laughs> that is exactly what he sets up for again. Not to make it even easier. <laughs> some punches. Has he still got eleven? Four, seven, eight, nine. He's still got eleven players. I believe he's still got his apple as well. Ces stavens sont plus rapides que n'importe qui. Vise un peu ça. So he's exposed because he's got plus movement. It looks like he's a better player, but he's also got the minus movement injury. So he's just worse than the other one, essentially. I get both strength four tacklers back, so they can three dice or whatever. If you put protection for him, but. Oh, he goes for the gutter pickup. He uses a reroll. Had he used his thrower, of course, uh, the sure hands would have made that a success. And he still goes for it. He does have sure feet. And he double wands. Unbelievable, Jeff. And stunned. And ball right in the corner. So basically, where I can't reach it, but obviously, you don't have to reach it this turn. But, um,. <laughs> if it had gone any of the other squares, he could have gone back and got, got picked it up, couldn't he? But I wasn't about to GFI. Wasn't really necessary to GFI, I don't think. Could have gone very bad if I had double one. <laughs> so smashing one of the gutters on three dice.
Maybe I should have hit the wrestle one. In three. Maybe I could have reached him. Hello, Tony. We're going for the one assist foul here. <laughs> But even even failing, he's got like you know strength guard guys next to him, so I'm, I'm kind of confident that he won't be able to blitz with him next turn anyway. Looks like he might be able to. Oh, he just dodges. That's how he does it. <laughs> Fair enough. And that was a uh, that was a pretty poor reroll because he does have Juggernaut. So don't think that was a great play. He's probably tilted by the uh, missing, you know, failing at the one turn and then uh, misplaying at the one turn and then double double warning. Wow, well done, Tony. Yeah, the six assassins is 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 a good, it's a good combination anyway. To be fair. Ah, good hitting him with a with a mighty and <laughs> only wrestling. <laughs> That's annoying, isn't it? God, wrestles so annoying. When it when it works like that. So this is a bit of making the cage. Half making the cage first, but also having people back in case it fails. So I kind of like that. Fuck calcium is I alone am best. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> so yeah, obviously this is going fantastically now. He's used his wizard. 1-0 up and got the ball on his drive. So the result's going wise, going well, but I'm still obviously super scared. Um yeah, because yeah, it was his drive, right? It's his drive, so I always go when I'm Spectating, I always do whose drive it was. So because it was his drive, I stole it. Also, it gives me—it's quite good for me because it gives me a different, um, it gives me a different perspective on the game as well. Might notice some things that I didn't notice the first time. Do you do get tunnel vision while you're playing? Somewhat. So yeah, although, although I should be really happy with how this game's gone. Um. <laughs> hey, he makes another G if I was sure of it and another double one. Good job he's got the grass. The grass saves him there as he rolls an eight on the armor. Unbelievable elf grass. Um <laughs> I'd drip to think uh, what happens at your work if you're getting an award, Johnny Five. <laughs> No offence. <laughs> no offence. So I'm just kind of like trying to play safe, but I really want to hit the claw pommel. That's the biggest thing. I'm sure I'm going to hit him, yeah. Even greeted it. So yeah, you know, like he can he can dodge in and he can wrestle me and all this kind of stuff, but don't really. <laughs> I don't know how many times I say I don't care, but I don't really care at this point. You know, one nil up. Worst thing that can happen is a draw. Really, I'd like to have a hundred percent season. I'd also like to go and beat him. Um. So, but safety, player safety is still the most important thing. <laughs> Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. 
So yeah, he's blitzing with his claw guy, but it's only claw, isn't he? He doesn't have mighty blows, so I'm not that scared. And it's still a bit tricky because he has like kind of split the team in half. There's this this group and this group. With some rats in between us. And now he's he's fouling with his best player to try and get him sent off. <laughs> classic, classic blood ball. But there's just enough to get around, I think, in the right cage here. Probably get a cheeky foul on the Storm Vermin. He is armor 7, so he's quite a nice foul target, even with minimal assists. Oh, living dangerously. Basing the ball. The ballon is in security. Blitzing without block, also a bit dodgy, but it gets another assist in. <laughs> and just protects the ball against a random cage dive as well. Obviously the main thing is the big foul. Okay, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> so now there's only Glad Smash Rip to worry about. <laughs> Realistically. the ball as well. Some might say herp dirt base base base. <laughs> it's a cheeky foul and again, you know, my apple's gone so he might do some damage to the team but I'm sure the fact that he's doing it with a one turn is just to get his one turn to send off. <laughs> Instant, instant greed reroll there, because again, you know, I just need Glad Smash Rip off the deal. Or at least stun and run away from him. Wow, didn't pile. I guess the idea was to foul him, um, to keep him out of the way. Can't believe it didn't pile on there. <laughs> How sad. The sad non pile. I guess I'm trying to go up to get a second. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Obviously, you only need to win 1 0. But, um, might as well get some SPPs if you can. <laughs> yeah, another foul. Still can't get sent off. <laughs> it's funny that the first two fouls he got sent off, and now when he's trying to get his best player sent off, he can't get sent off. <laughs> First things first, get forward. Get a cage up. And I kind of want to blitz in here to stop him getting knocked over and fouled again. Because while it's kind of funny that he's only fouling to get sent off, um, it also means he could kill somebody. Apple's gone. A little bit scary now with no rerolls. Touche, 
So I think they're all back trying to protect against Galat a little bit. But I mean, he's got. It's not very good, is it? Because he's got guard here. It's an easy blitz with Galat. Maybe I should have blitzed him. Even though I wouldn't have been able to pile on. Ah, but I'm only moving four, so it would have been a GFI. Very scary, very scary taking all these claw hits. But it's funny because like the first three blocks were like a, a Kaz and two KOs. And then there was that brutal foul. But after that, it was re I was really lucky to be honest. Uh, he got quite a lot of hits with claw, quite a few with claw palm, and just did nothing after that initial flurry. I mean, to be fair, I didn't do a lot either, right? Um, got a couple sent off. Didn't need to use his apple. Yeah. Yeah, I've only made two cars. Two cars in the KO there. Well, three kills in total. I could have double geified here, couldn't I, to hit the uh, hit the one turn, I didn't think of that. But looking at it now, four, five, six, double geified, could have gone for that. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea ever, but it could, it was a possibility. I'm just gonna call upon Glad. Or this guy, I guess. Yeah, do the block first. Because Claw might, he, he's still all right, isn't he? I just get a call from him. Fair enough. I mean, oh, the claw bomb hit has got a more likely to get me SPPs. So that's fair enough. But maybe I should have blitzed either this good rod than the double cheer if I had to hit that good. I don't know. his last turn here he doesn't even try a suicidal cage dive and he could have done couldn't he um he could have he could have come round and cancel the assist he could have gone an uphill with wrestle wouldn't have been that lords of success and then the one turner could have retrieved it and lobbed it up i mean <laughs> it wasn't likely it worked but I think he did the right thing just running away, you know. <laughs> I think he definitely did the right thing running away, but some people wouldn't have done, would they? But I, I would have done, I think that was definitely the right thing. And now we haven't got a re-roll, but winning 1-0, so might do a might do a greed hit first. Yeah, defenceless gutter, three dice, seems alright. And a three dice over here as well. So there you go, 9 and 0, and with that 9 and 0, um, that actually secured me qualification to the playoffs with four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> nine, nine out of thirteen games had, had secured a playoff spot, which is pretty crazy. I'm sure it's a record in Rebel um, to have clinched a playoff, playoff spot in after nine weeks. That seems pretty crazy to have done that. And uh, I only just got more AV breaks on him, you know, which is that's that's scathing, isn't it? You know, they do the fouls, they do the claw palm of their own. Um, did more KOs to him, but we both did two Kansas. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, nothing to do with coach skill, no, absolutely not. So, um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's mostly it's mostly the team, isn't it? Like the team is just horrible. Basically, teams have got to score against me pretty quickly because if they don't score quickly, they won't score at all. <laughs> you know, that's basically the the dilemma that they face. It's really it's super hard to stall out against this team. Um, so I didn't blame him for going for the one turn, but I had my guy set up to pick it up, which I enjoyed. 
Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.